So I'm just changing the windshield washer motor. The motor is in here. I just took off the wiper blade. It was sat like this. I pushed in there. All the way, there's some teeth. You see those teeth? There's teeth right there. And so uh, it sat up. Like this, and then a screw just uh, the nut was on top. This little nut, it retained it right in here. Okay, so I'm gonna secure that. I'm gonna take this off, and basically, there's clips clips here, here, and here. And you can just tell because there's a solid piece there. Solid, solid. So you have to put something underneath, push it away, and this thing will come up. This flap. So the clip underneath, and basically I put this uh, here to wedge it. I know there's one here, one here, and one here. So I'm basically gonna pop them, and then I can. I have to put one on each one because there's a little. This plastic is brittle. It's probably as old as the car. You know, it's over 30 years old. You can see it's discolored. So I have to be very careful. But I know there's clips on each side. So I'm going to just pop it like I said. You can see the separation already right there. Now I'm going to put the screwdriver here. Just uh, hold it in place so it doesn't come back down. Let me see if it'll go up. Nope, not yet. But basically you have to find uh, the sweet spot of the clip so it'll pop up. This had popped up already, you can see it. So that's already up. I just gotta find uh, the spot here. I need both hands, but you see what I'm doing, you just gotta play with a little pick and just, just uh, I wanna work in this one so I can get this up and then you can see it separate better. And I'll show you what it looks like. So I got this off, you can see. And it came off, as you can see there's that clip. There's these clips right here, and you gotta push off on them, get it right in there in that slot, and push it. Gotta be able to do that and then just uh, lift it up. This is an old piece, and it, it could have easily cracked, but if you're careful, nothing will crack. You never force anything. You know, you gotta handle these cars extremely carefully. So I got that off. All right, now the motor, the motor is right there. It's covered. So I gotta take this off here. This whole thing, there's screws here. I'm gonna take off this whole panel. Then I gotta uh, remove this piece. You can see it wiggles. I'm gonna push it back. I'm gonna get to the motor. So I just removed this uh, piece, okay, that's where the blower motor is, right here, blower motor, right there. I'm going to take that off and I'm going to use this in my parts car, this blower motor, I mean this um, windshield wiper motor. That's what I'm going to use. These uh, parts are like, this part's like at least 350, 400 bucks, brand new. So I'm going to put this in. That's in there. I already removed this out of this car. Same white car. I'm going to put this in. 
You can see there's three, four nuts. But basically you remove it. So I'm taking out this blower motor and basically there was a clip here and you pull up on this and a blower motor should you can hear it it's squeaking I'm gonna take it out and see what's happening uh, and then uh, either replace it with the other one or I'm going to see if I can figure out where the squeak's coming from. So I got the motor out. And as I was spinning it with my hand, with my other hand, um, I could hear the squeak. And I think it was coming where the, where the wheel is there, where they, where, where they connect. So I sprayed my favorite spray, WD-40 Industrial, right in there. And when you turn it, I don't hear the squeak anymore. So I think there was some rust buildup. I'll try to, let me see here. I don't know how I'm gonna hold this, but um, basically, as I turn it, let me see. I don't know how I can hold this. Um, well, I can't do that, but uh, I think there was just some uh, little bit of uh, rust buildup inside there that was making it sound. So I think I can reuse this. Everything works. Uh, it blows good. It just makes a little noise. But um, putting a little WD-40 where they connect, it did, it uh, it got rid of that that little squeak. Of course, when the motor is blowing uh, higher, um, well, you hear it at lower speed, but um, anyways, I think it's still a good motor. I'm going to put it back in. So to get this out and to get it in, you have to remove that bracket, the bracket that, uh, this bracket here. This was underneath here, all these uh, hoses. So you have to remove it so you can bend, I mean these wires, so you can bend it down like this and come in through this way. It's a very tight spot, but you have to be very gentle with this. It's a blower motor, it's an, you know, like I said, it's probably 30 years old. So, see how that went in there? Just like that. And I gotta connect these wires, see these wires here? You just basically have to connect them to the, this one goes to the bottom. The brown wire goes down there, and then the top one goes up here. So, there, that one, and this one. Just turn like this. Let me see here. I think it went this way. There. Okay. Like that. So it just sits right in there and you can you can see the old marks. So the bracket goes right over that. I have to sit it correctly so that I should freely spin. Um I have to just sit it correctly, but uh, I gotta see what's catching over here. But that's basically how it sits. So I just put in the blower motor resistor right here. Just put it in, and that's when you set it to one, two, three, or four, the fan speed. That's the resistor. I just slide, slid it in there, and it there were. A few, a few prongs that went into a, a like a connection 
you can see the wire the connection is there the brown wires here the blue wires there and then now I gotta basically put this you can see the old marks are there so it's lined up let me see here I'm gonna have to put it on the top first and then push in the bottom. I just wanted to you don't put it in the bottom first, you put it on the top first. Oh. It's a little dark here. I'm gonna need my flashlight and just uh see turning it spinning it I don't hear the squeak anymore that's all I had to do I don't hear nothing so it's gonna be nice and quiet all I have to do is just put a little bit of WD-40 right where the wheel meets Perfect. So I'm going to turn on the blower motor. See a blower motor? Nice and quiet. It's not squeaking anymore. Okay. But the... Uh, Wiper is not working. This should turn. Just, uh, I gotta replace this. This should at least turn. And I already checked the fuse. Number five fuse. No wiper is turning, see? It's broken. So I'm gonna check, replace it. So I'm using a 10 um, millimeter. I have a short 10 here. I have a longer 10. I got an S shaped 10 here. And to reach the back is this. Like put away in the back and you can break it. Um, it's just underneath everything. So um, it's basically the bolt. Uh, if you're looking at this, I'm trying to get this bolt where my thumb is so um, when it's position position like this you can see the motor like that you see this motor it's this one here so the, the S shaped comes like this obviously you want to pull this way so I'm going like this that's exactly what I'm doing underneath just my replacement motor so that's what I'm doing I'm gonna reach in here get that uh, Well, I did use this to break it loose, so I got to use my other hand to help me uh, take this off. But that's what I'm doing. Well, I finally got out this old motor. It's all dusty. This looks so much better. This other one. I hope this is a newer motor. Look at that. What difference. Looks just like it. So 
slightly different. Similar. Just gotta put the, I got the bolts on here. Remove that. Same spot. Made in Canada. Made in Canada. It was made in Germany. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna see. Got the same four prongs. I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna connect it and then see if the if I can feel the motor running. That's gonna I'm gonna connect that to that, the meat. And then I'm gonna feel it uh I'm gonna turn on the motor and feel if this is running. And look to see if this is turning. Because this has to turn with the with the assembly that's down there. That little piece goes in here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, where my finger is. So I got it connected. Okay. And I'm going to turn on the motor. And this motor should be vibrating inside. And you should see this turning. Okay. Before I put everything in there, I got to make sure this is a good motor or else we are just wasting time if you don't feel a vibration in this uh, motor. It takes too long to take this apart. See that? What do you think of that, huh? I'm not wasting my time because I know that this motor works. The thing turns. Awesome. I'm going to change at different speeds. Change at different speeds here. That's faster. Fast. Lower. Stop. Turn it back on. Turn it back off. Isn't that cool? Turn it back on. Turn it back off. Awesome. Huh. You learned something today. So, I finished putting the motor in, the windshield wiper motor, and I'm going to test it. I got one wiper on, I'm going to put the other one on, but you can see, let's see. What do you think of that, huh? See that moving? So when I put it on, I gotta just gotta line it up. Let's see here. There. I turn it off. So I just gotta put the other one in. The other wiper. There it is. Just gotta put it on. There's teeth. See. See those grooves in there? And there's teeth here. There are the teeth. You have to line it up. Uh, 
Uh, a little lower. Well, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to line it up. I'll put the bolt. I'm going to put the nut right on top. And that, that should be everything. That's all I need to do. See, my wipers are fixed. Perfect.